watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network Sports. Hello Herrick's, it's Friday and that means it's a great day for some Highlander sports highlights. Let's start off with something new this week and swing our way into boys badminton. The boys badminton season began last Friday and Herrick stormed out of the gate, achieving 7-0 sweeps against Hempstead and in Belmore, then winning again Tuesday 5-2 when they hosted Calhoun. Players such as Aaron Chu, Aiden Lee, and Sam Hu have been instrumental to their 3-0 start, but the whole team is on a determined mission to win the conference. If you're interested, you can catch them today at 5 in a large gym when they take on Roslyn in their effort to build on their hot start. Following their tough loss to Syosset, girls soccer has turned around and ripped off three straight wins to improve their record to 3-1-1. The first was a highly improbable victory against Oceanside where Maggie and Ella Ledwith combined for three goals and stunned the Sailors 3-2. The second came Friday in Plainview where the girls took down the Hawks 2-1 and the most recent was on Monday at Farmingdale and once again, Herricks took it 3-2. Their next match is today at Schreiber as they continue a string of games on opposing pitches. It hasn't been too great for boys soccer lately, but they're working hard in every game and trying to capture that elusive win that's been dodging them. One thing the Highlanders can count on in every game is a solid performance in goal from Christian Thomas, who averages about six saves a game. Tomorrow morning, they'll make the short trip down Jericho Turnpike for a match with Westbury in which they'll have an opportunity to literally slay the Dragons. Girls Volleyball continued their good start when they beat Hicksville to improve to 4-0 last Saturday. It was another clean three-set sweep, and this time it was Sam McCloskey at middle with nine kills and four aces. Aaron Sinkovich also provided a crazy 28 assists and four aces of her own. Their next game is Wednesday when they visit Shriver, so hopefully there'll be more good news to report about them next Friday. Similarly, boys volleyball has turned out five straight wins and have gotten perfect 3-0 scores in their last four. They punctuated the end of last week with two W's in a home-and-home -home against Jericho behind Tanu Sony and Gavin Lee's leadership, and took out Beth Page on Tuesday with John Jockham's 12 kills. Also to note is Evan Liao's right arm of doom, which is still second in Nassau with 119 kills. Herricks takes on Wontaw tomorrow morning in their gym to try and make it six in a row. Last, but definitely not least, are the Sultans of Saturday's Highlander football. Last week, the Highlanders suffered a 28-6 loss at Calhoun and dropped to 0-2, and unfortunately, there wasn't much to write home about barring a touchdown from Bobby Szymanski. The good news is that it's a new week and they finally get to play on the turf in front of the home fans. The bad news is they have to play Garden City, and if you aren't familiar with Garden City football, well, the best way to describe it is that the Trojans haven't lost since Tom Brady was still the quarterback for the Patriots. But as the saying goes, any given Saturday. Make sure to fill up the bleachers Saturday afternoon and give the Highlanders all your support in what will be a hard-fought game. So, to wrap things up, that ends your weekly Highlander sports highlights from here in the TV studio. I'm Michael Grady, and I wish the best of luck to all our teams and athletes in the coming weeks. And remember, Herricks, I'll be right back here next Friday with another sports update. Until then, remember, this is Highlander Country. Thank you for watching HTN Sports.